I guess uh, find somebody that's done it and talk to them about it, I guess. That's a big thing is use those resources that are out there. Get that first-hand knowledge to look at making the change or not like said Anthony think before said it's an, every farm's different and gonna have a little different tweak to what their operation is and what their setup was and maybe you can use some of your equipment you actually have now and not have to go buy something new. That was one big thing for me is having a lot of old equipment I realize you can you can make old equipment work pretty easily. The, the chat the challenges and I have a, a friend, a salesman, he, he's up in a different area in Minnesota and it's all strictly tillage. So he's, but he has the interest to, to learn it, to try and make some changes. And he, he, he is starting to make some changes. He's in a, you know, minimum till conventional tillage situation and <clears throat> emphasize don't just do it one year, you got to do it a number of years. and. You need to talk to your support people because he's in a, he's, his eyes are on him. Yeah. So it's easier to start up where you're at because you've got some people that are close by that are doing it, but he's up there where there's nobody close by. He, but he has enough interest in it, you know, he's really interested in it and he's been talking with us and seeing us make it work and so it, it is a tougher sell though <laughs> yeah you gotta prepare your mind for that i guess i was kind of novel in the area i was by myself and did it the turn first 10 or 15 years and everybody would drive by what the heck's the clown up to today or whatever you know <laughs> <laughs> and you i just learned clown? to put it aside i guess yeah and, and felt i was doing the right thing and I felt just, I felt that same way. I, it, you know. You had a, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, we had people in this area that quit. That started out and they quit doing it. And we had a few neighbors too, but they they just didn't give it enough time. Right. It, you know, they, it, it it's back to you got to have patience. You got right. it's it is different to manage. Big thing for me was listening to Anthony and Dwayne Beck. Dwayne was a big influence. Mm, huge. He's got an answer for every every concern he might have. So. <laughs> and he's experienced it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was no internet a long time ago, so you had that magazine come or you had maybe one or two uh, no-till association meetings that you could go to and and uh, and hear, you know, Dwayne talk or whoever they invited and and that was your that was your high for the year and then you went home and did it. But now it seems like with all these institutions and organizations and things, there's, there's something going on all the time. And uh, the, the rate at which you can learn the, the techniques is rapidly increasing. So that's good. 